Operation Cullion is the ongoing investigation which led to the arrest of a male, a 52-year-old male, David Rollison, from the Birmingham area on the 8th of July 2009. The arrest was instigated as a result of intelligence received and that intelligence was acted upon during which two search warrants were executed at locations within the Birmingham area on the 8th of July. This resulted in the arrest of Mr Rollison. It also resulted in the seizure of a number of computers and other items. Initial examination of some of these equipment has highlighted a number of illegal images present and consequently David Rollison has been charged yesterday, Wednesday the 22nd of July, with possession of indecent images and is due to appear at Sutton Magistrates Court this morning. The arrested man, Mr Rollison, was a volunteer who worked for Acorns Children's Hospice. His role included having contact with siblings and families of, of life-limited children. Because of his role in the community, we are now speaking to those families that Mr Rollison has had contact with. Detectives who are specially trained in interviewing children are working alongside support workers from Acorns and are speaking to each family. Our inquiries are being carried out in partnership with Acorns and their specialist team who continue to be incredibly supportive of this investigation. Initial investigations have not revealed any pictures of children associated with Acorns but forensic examination of the computers and other items seized continues and as you can probably appreciate this is an extremely complex and protracted investigation and our overall priority is and will remain to be the safety of the children. Well the first thing I'd like to say this morning is how shocked and distressed we are at the news that is unfolding before us today. We absolutely depend on our volunteers to help us. We could not do what we do without them. Uh, however, I should say that we have a very, very stringent um, system of checking uh, that every single person, whether a volunteer or staff member, um, has actually been uh, scrutinized before they are either employed by us or uh, undertake any volunteer activity. And that includes things like enhanced criminal bureau checks. Uh, and no volunteer um, has access to any of our children alone. Uh, indeed, our policies and procedures are considered to be of such a high standard that in October 2007, uh, the NSPCC um, found that we had met the requirements of their safe commitment scheme. And this is a scheme that operates uh, for organizations that uh, both have the policies and procedures in place uh, to protect uh, children from harm and abuse. Our primary responsibility though of course is to make sure that we look after our children and their families and we protect them as far as we can and so my first concern when we heard this news was for the families and the dreadful distress the anxiety probably even the anger that they feel about this right now uh, and it's therefore my absolute priority uh, to make sure that I give them uh, every care and attention I can and what I'm going to do about that is to try and lessen the impact that this investigation will have on them uh, and so what I've done already is to appoint to every family um, who's, um, who, who, who have a chi child who may have come into contact with this individual who, about whom the allegations have been made um, every one of those will have a contact worker um, who will be available to the family um, right the way through until we can get to the bottom of what's actually happening and they'll be available all the time for each family. I do, have, I do have another concern though and that is that the reputation of this wonderful charity that does so much for all the children and young people of the West Midlands and their families that its reputation should in any way be damaged by this. We so depend on the support of our community. More than 80% of the funds that we have to raise um, are produced through voluntary donations and it would be too terrible if this uh, the, this uh, uh, series of events um, should in any way impair that support. So I would make a plea to everybody as we're still seeking to survive the recession um, and uh, trying to make our way through this and to give us that support.